the church of Jesus Christ. We live in a culture that does not properly view fathers, and we are paying a steep price for it. Biblically, God created men to be the head of their families and designed families for children to have both a mother and a father. Even saying basic things like this today is practically cultural heresy. The fact that it sounds controversial to say that children need fathers shows you just how wrong we've gone. Our culture has spent decades telling men that they're not necessary. The feminist icon Gloria Steinem famously said, a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. And so we now have nearly 40% of the children in America born to unwed mothers. In the African-American community, nearly seven in 10 children are born to single mothers. And in the Hispanic population, it's 52%. The results of this fatherlessness have been catastrophic. Growing up fatherless is correlated with marked increases in depression, poverty, crime, substance abuse, and a host of other tragic pathologies. As a nation, we decided to remake the family. The heirs of Karl Marx carried out his vision to overthrow the nuclear family, which was the biggest obstacle to statism. We decided to subsidize fatherlessness and as a result, encourage more of it. We replaced fathers with government checks and told mothers that they should strike out on their own to be truly fulfilled and self-realized. In doing so, we rebelled against God's design and created enormous suffering. Father's Day sometimes goes by like a brief blip compared to Mother's Day, and that's a shame because it's good and right to stop and celebrate fathers, and it's downright countercultural. Our nation is dying for a lack of fathers. So today, of all days, we stop and salute those men who've married wives and raised children and fulfilled God's design for being a husband and a dad. Thank you for going against the culture and doing what's right. And may God raise up millions upon millions more such men to lead their homes, provide for their families, and invest their lives in preparing children for the wider world. That's God's design for manhood, and that's God's design for a flourishing society.